Welcome back. What you see in my hand is a Balder side sword. Didn't really take that long to get. You know, like 10 resets or something, so no big deal. Didn't really get too many Titanite shards from it, but you know what? We got some souls. I think we leveled up to 24 vitality. And now we're going to um, reinforce my weapons so we can actually start the game. veterans of Dark Souls know how important it is to have an upgraded sword and we're going to upgrade that sword. We're going to purchase more Titanite shards. Uh, I guess we're going to purchase, you know, two for now. Some consumables I've got here. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop that. What else we got here? Just another large soul. Is that it? Uh, we can upgrade it one more time for now and uh, what we can do is um, go fight a butterfly I was just going to do like the required bosses since we were you know pretending to be a deathless run but now that we're not pretending to be a deathless run which is making an all boss run so we'll go ahead and fight the gaping dragon and you know all that stuff maybe even Priscilla and I've never fought Priscilla in 15 years I've, I've fought her a few times, but it's been a very long time. You know how it is. Anyways, we're going to go fight a butterfly. Because a butterfly is easy to fight, and you might as well do that while you're here, right? It isn't doing quite as much damage as I thought it was going to do to these dudes. But these are big boys. Kind of. Kind of big boys. They're not the biggest boys, but you know. Not going to bother with the Havel. But the biggest difference between the side sword and the scimitar is that we can do a kick. And you know I love doing a kick. No, seriously, I hate the scimitar. I hate how it does this little fancy backflip. Come on. Yeah, I see you over there. I knew your friend was going to come about, too. Don't think I didn't. I'm having a rough time with the whole playthrough. Remember when I used to have a Zwihander or a Claymore? Those were the days. Nah, this will this will catch up eventually. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. The thing about doing like a quality playthrough is you're strong from like the get-go and then it just gets busted later. This might be just, you know, a little slow start. Which, you know, that's probably just my fault more than anything. Do I want to... Do I even need to rest here? No, I can always homeward bone back to Andre. In theory. Do I want the wolf ring? Um, we might get the wolf ring. I don't think that I'm going to get Havel's Ring because Havel's Armor kind of just destroys the playthrough. Like, I feel like I cheated my revenge against Artorius and Manus by using the Havel's Armor. Because you can just face tank everything. So, I don't think that I'm going to do that. That's kind of a reason that I'm doing, like, you know, Dex magic y stuff here. I know we've not really gotten to the magic -y stuff yet, but it'll, it'll come. Don't worry. Come on. We did plus four this, right? I guess we really only have like 14 decks. I've been putting all of my points into vitality like a bad player. You know, when we had a deathless run going. So it's going to take me a little while to uh, start doing damage, I guess. You can't do damage and have fancy stuff and not die all at the same time. You know, that comes later. Right now you kind of struggle a little bit at the beginning of the playthrough. Poor trees. They're free souls though, man. You gotta chop them down. Because why wouldn't you? Now the first one, he was, he was being a mean guy because he was, you know blocking entrance, blocking the path. But that one, he was an innocent bystander 
he was killed by my greed. Alright, we're gonna run up here, try to get this wolf ring, and try to hollow Homeward Bone away. Because we don't really want to fight this dude. We could. But with the amount of damage I'm doing right now, it'd be a hassle. Go on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Alright, well he wasn't moving very fast, so we're good. Alright. I could go pick up the Elite Knight armor, just in case that I want to use it. I think I will, because, you know, why not, right? But I don't think that I will use it right now. I don't think that I have the endurance to use it if I did want to. You know, we've sacrificed a lot to have high vitality. Usually you wouldn't want to do that. Because, you know, like you can see, we're doing no damage. And doing more damage is usually more feasible than being able to take one more hit. It takes a lot of vitality to be able to tank an extra hit in Dark Souls. I just did it in case, like, we played sloppy. You know, it kind of helps for sloppy play a little bit. Granted, you know, it didn't help my sloppy play. But it could help yours. I don't know, I'm just rambling. We're going to kill a butterfly with the help of a magic lady. Don't aggro anything else. We're going to go over here and uh, I think we got to kill a statue man. Can't remember. There's another tree friend. But he has a snake on it, so we're going to just leave it there. Uh, so we might have to fight this one, but we'll have a friend while we do. She's hidden over here, tucked away. We might not have to fight this dude. He's kind of debating on it. Take him out. Witch Beatrice, please slay this man. Please. Anytime now. You see that? How powerful she is. Beatrice is a nice lady. She's a good lady. I'm glad she's on our side. Are you coming? Thank you. Alright. Beautiful butterfly will be destroyed here real soon. Free souls, why not? Kind of a crappy fight because you know you gotta wait till it lands to do damage to it if you don't have ranged attacks, and we currently do not have ranged attacks. So we'll just dodge while Beatrice hopefully kills it. That was not a good dodge. That was in fact not what you want to do at all. But uh, this thing won't last very long if she actually attacks it. Sometimes she decides that she doesn't want to attack it. But this time it looks like she's, you know, slaying butterflies. Oh, we got the laser beam. Haven't seen that in a few days. Please don't kill Beatrice. I've never seen it happen, but you never know. I can't move. Do I get the killing blow? I got the killing blow, Beatrice. You took too long. Uh, was it even worth coming over here? I don't know how many souls we get. And the souls only worth like a thousand. Go thousand. Ten thousand? Yeah, that's probably worth the little detour we did. It's fine. I'll allow it. Uh, we might go kill the Hydra. I don't remember how many souls it takes. Or how many souls it gives, I mean. Beautiful watchtower basement key for Havel. We'll probably just leave him there where he is for a little bit. Ain't got time for Havel right now. Also, I'm a little scared of him. It happens. Don't make fun of me because you've been killed by Havel before too. May never kill him. Not going to use the big Havel rings. Ain't got time for no Havel ring. Like, the super poisey... Oh yeah, we need to put on the wolf ring. Wolf ring does give us some poise, but it doesn't give enough poise to, you know, be busted, I don't think. Maybe it does. I don't know. We 
Got him. Like he takes pretty much the whole stamina bar to kill. Right now my Balder side sword is not doing a lot of damage. There's a lot more when you two-hand it though. I think that's kind of what the build's designed to do is, you know, grass crest it up. And uh, two-hand it. Because we're only getting like 10 strength and that really limits the amount of shields we could use. I was thinking we could use a Balder shield but we actually can't. Can I get this? Okay, um, I moved too slow. Balder still takes 12 strength. So, um, beyond the Grass Crest Shield, I'm not really even sure what we can use. I'm going to go back to Andre and uh, level up and get some uh, upgrades on my Balder Shield sword, whatever it is. And then we'll go from there. Probably going to fight a Hydra. Then we might fight some Gargoyles. We'll just get all the bosses. Now the Hydra, I realize he's not an official boss, but in my heart he is. No lightning bolt me. He shot ahead of me. We'll see. No, I don't move that fast. Beautiful stuff here. Alright, so I still needed two Titanite shards, I think. Yeah, we'll give you this ember that I'm never going to use. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Three Titanite shards. Okay. Purchase. It's a good thing about my good friend Andre here. He'll sell you all you want. Right, beautiful. Now, can we level up once? I think so. Maybe a couple times. We have 10k so 10k souls, so we should be able to. I'll need to buy some arrows from a fight a hydra though. Right, I'm gonna leave 24 vitality where it's at. I think um this goes up three points. I think I'll get a couple points in dexterity. Just to bring it up where it's at. Now I do want to put some points in endurance too. And I'll actually want some points in intelligence here before too long. But that can wait for a little while. I think we'll put two in dexterity and, you know, go from there. I'm going to buy some arrows from Andre. I hope he sells them. I'm not actually sure. We might need them to finish off this Hydra friend we're going to kill. Yeah, he sells some standard arrows. Do we want to buy some standard arrows? Some large arrows? I don't know. How many we want to buy? 50? 100? They actually... Well, oh, sorry, I almost died. They actually don't cost much. So let's buy like 150, just in case. It's only like 1,000 souls. Thank you. Ah. So let's go ahead and uh, we can use the feather arrows first, I guess. I guess we can use the feather arrows first. I'll allow it. Oh, it's going down here again. Do I want to fight this Titanite demon? We might find him on the way back up. It's probably a little bit harder than our... Uh... Okay. You were not supposed to actually hit me. It's probably a little bit harder than our Hydra is going to be. If you've never fought the Hydra or played Dark Souls, the two of you in the world, um, Hydra's just kind of like a world hazard more than a boss. Like it doesn't really react to you. It just kind of attacks certain spots and if you avoid those you're good. But it's a Hydra so it's cool. You know you love Hydras. Alright, I gotta fight this one too. Be gone, foul creature. I don't think we really need as many arrows as I bought. This is not where you go. But, you know, we'll use them later, perhaps. We probably won't. I almost fell to my death there. Would have preferred not to. Now there is another lizard boy. Can we get him? I guess we'll have to try. Probably not going to be able to get him. Got him. Twinkling Titanite. I think we can upgrade the Grass Crest Shield with that. I don't know that we will. I've gone the wrong way yet again. We might though. You know, it hasn't really been that long since I've played Dark Souls, like a month or so. And like I'm playing like I've got layers and layers of rust. 
happens, I guess. Oh, we got a bunch of golem boys down here to kill. Just gonna leave Havel where he's at, I think. I ain't got no quarrel with Havel. You don't start nothing, won't be nothing. I don't remember what this is. We're gonna get it. Uh, it's worth, I guess. Take him out. Dodge, because you're getting spewed at. Well, I thought we were, apparently not. Beautiful stuff right there. Can't really rely on it to kill these dudes. It's more likely just to hit you. Well, I guess it does a little bit of both. I thought that dude had like one hit left. Did I not hit him? And this dude. Okay, he's got quite a few hits left. It's fine. We can take him out. Beautiful. Just like you, dear viewer. Alright, is that all the fancy golem boys? Scary stuff here. You know what? We can put on our fancy rusted iron ring. Once you get so close, he'll stop doing those. I guess I wasn't close enough. And he'll start just attacking you with his bot bot. Like that. You just gotta not get hit by it. Don't remember exactly where I need to be. Apparently I've missed multiple times. It's hard to tell exactly where you need to be to not get fallen into the lava. And by lava, I mean water. In just a second, we're going to switch these rings out. Having a hard time with a lot of these fights, I usually don't. This goes to show you that early game builds are pretty useful. Like this will probably be really strong when I get it actually going. But until then, it's not got much to it. Um, I got knocked down. Not happy about that. I'll just go ahead and switch these items real quick, so I can actually walk in the water here. Alright, we got one, and we got some knot gauntlets, okay. I don't really do much damage in one or two hits with this Hydra, so it's not really, you know, ideal to be fighting him with this. But we know we, we've killed two heads, it's fine. Just don't knock me into the water, please. Oh god. Okay, thought that was coming. Good thing it missed. You know, we could probably just shoot him to death now. It's, it's like, I don't know. It doesn't behave like it should. Just a little world hazard here. As long as you're close to it, it won't shoot stuff. But then, like, it's like, okay, I want to shoot stuff this time. Because I can. Did I miss every one of those? I think I may have missed every one of those. Don't tell anybody. Seriously? How much health does it have left? Can't tell. Okay, well, it's in the wall. So, you know. You know. Okay, it's got like half its health left. I need to knock off some more of these heads. Ah, uh, we hit that one. Maybe I should have done this a little later, because uh, it's kind of taking a lot of time. 
Gives us time to bond, though. We're good friends. Don't shoot me. Don't you ever shoot me. Did you see that frame right? Alright. Make sure I'm not getting hit, and then we're just going to bow him to death. We're just going to bow. This might be faster anyway. It's not faster. Good thing we bought a bunch of arrows, right, lads? Um, I hope you're having a good time. Having a good day. I'm having a good day, everybody. I'm glad you're here with me. Probably should have bought the big boy bow. Alright. Standard arrows. We had the fancy ones. We can knock this head off like it'll take damage. Like it'll take like a spike of damage, I mean. Maybe I should just be doing that instead of this. Either way, it's the Hydra episode. Known so, because it takes 15 years to kill the Hydra. Probably fighting it a little bit too early. I'm not above admitting it. But you know what? It's going to give us like 10,000 souls. Then we can talk to Dusk of Ulasil, and it's going to be a great time for everybody. We can even buy like a sorcery from her. Um, I don't know what else we can do, but it'll be great. There, well, I thought it died. It didn't. But it's close. We're torturing the poor beast at this point. But you know what? It'll learn to infest my lake. God, I hope it's worth it. I could have waited a little bit to do this. Probably should have. Um, please forgive me. Give me, like, all your souls, please. 5,000 souls? That's it? Okay, I'm sorry, everybody. Now we can go over here and fight Golem Lord. I think he's spawned already. If not, we'll have to restart. And by restart, I mean reload the area. We're rescuing Dusk real early. Could be a mistake. But it's never a mistake as long as you're here. I've missed you. Alright, it's not here. You quit out, you reload the game, it'll come back in a jiffy. Nothing wrong with that. You hit the continue button. You wait for the switch load screen. Yeah, I know what a cracked red eye orb does. I'm not using it. I'm not using it right now. And you can't make me. Alright, there's that beautiful gentleman. Come hither. If I remember right, it's a little stronger than the other ones. We can take him out, though. You need to be smart about it, probably. Uh, it's not going to take that long. He's harmless. He's a good guy. We just misunderstood. He doesn't abduct princesses or anything. Don't kill me. Don't know how much damage that does, but it probably does some. Alright, great fight, everybody. There's my good friend Dusk of Ulusil. I did rescue you. It's good to see you, Dusk. Yes. I'm glad we answered that correctly. So, like, she despawns, and then you can come over here and summon her. I don't know if her summon sign shows up right now. We might have to reload the area. This is something we'd have to do for the DLC, so we have to do it anyway. But, you know, the Hydra took a lot longer to kill than I thought it would. I'm sorry, I apologize to everyone. 
It's an early Hydra. It's, it could be better late than never, but you know we did it early because you know we wanted to see Dusk, and she's a good lady. All right. Apparently, we're gonna have to reload the area again. Yes, game. Please, please go. This is the Nintendo Switch loading screen. It takes a while. Alright, so. All these golems are dead, right? You don't want her to get punched out, you know. Alright, summon her up. She's going to teach us like a bow or something. And we're going to buy a sorcery or two from her. It's going to be a great time for everybody. Then we're going to go over there and get her items. Because we can. And then we're going to get out of here. Learn gesture. Proper bow, best bow. Purchase. Uh, we want the cast slot. It's only a thousand souls. Do you want the chameleon? We'll never use it. Is this, what does this even do? I don't really know what this does, if it's better than using like a normal sorcery catalyst or not. Um, I don't actually know. Do I buy this or do I buy like the normal one from um, Sorcerer Guy? One may never know. I'm going to stand here and stare until I think about it. You know what? Boom. I've got all kinds of cash money. Now we're going to run over here and see if her uh, set of armor is over here. A lot of running around this lake, Hydra Lake. No longer Hydra Lake, I have claimed it for my own. It's my lake, best lake. It's good commentary, I know. Is it even over here yet? Oh, it is. It's a pretty dress. We're not going to wear it, but we could wear it. I just want you to know that. Alright, antiquated stuff. Crown of Dusk. Decent for a full sorcerer build. Alright, we're going to Homeward Bone back to my friend Andre. Maybe get us a level or two. You never know. Come on, loading screen. We've had a lot of loading screens this episode. I'm aware of that. We had a lot of Hydra, a lot of loading screens, but, you know, my heart was in it. And that's what matters. Level up. Do we want to keep going in decks? Goes up four points, boys. Or do we want an endurance? I do like the stamina. Let's endurance to 20. I'm a man who likes his endurance, his stamina. All men need endurance and stamina. Anyways, now that I've made it weird at the very end of the episode, next time we will slay some gargoyles. Next time we might slay a capra demon, you never know. I'll see you then.